This presentation shows how the PDM AnyDocs application works with OneSpace Model Manager, allowing users to manage project and product documentation whilst working effectively within a team environment. With AnyDocs installed, you will see a new menu option for managing documents. You will also notice that when Model Manager is started, the AnyDocs application also starts and runs in the task tray. From the PDM Integrator menu, select Create Document. You are now prompted to enter some information about the document you are about to store. All documents are stored in a new class with their own specific set of attributes. For now we enter a description and a name. In this case I am using the standard Model Manager rolling number generator which automatically allocates the next number in a sequence for my documents. When all required fields are populated, click Save. Now locate the document you wish to store from your file system. Select the file and click Import. Searching for documents is as easy as searching for drawings. If you select the search option from Model Manager, you will see that there is a new search category for Office documents. After entering some search criteria, you will see a list of matching documents. Notice that each document has an application icon, making it easy for users to quickly find the document they are looking for. If we view the properties of the document, we can check and edit the attributes set against the document. Remember these attributes set up against the document category are configurable from the Model Manager Administration tool. At present this document is not associated with any project. As it is a project specification, we will allocate it to a project folder that has already been created. Now if we search by project, we can quickly find the document in the relevant project folder. As this is a completed specification, we will go ahead and release the document. We need to make a change to the released document. Although this is protected at this state, we can still go ahead and load the document. Loading from Model Manager identifies the file association and loads the related application, in this case Word. PDM AnyDocs uses some unique technology to monitor any changes to the file. There is no customization of the creator application and therefore little or no IT support required. Our contact name has changed on this project, so we go ahead and make the change to the document. Once the modifications are complete, we can use the application's standard save function. The user will be prompted to store the changes back to Model Manager. Using this technology means that CSI's PDM AnyDocs can support any Windows single file type. After choosing Yes, the Store dialog appears, giving the user the option to choose how to store the changes. As this document is already released, I do not have permission to overwrite the existing document. I must either up issue or save as a new document. As this is a change to the project specification, I will up issue the document, filling in the necessary change notes. By refreshing the Model Manager results window, we can see our up issued document at a state of work in the project folder. If we load the document once more into Word, there are a few things to observe. First notice that the document has been renamed to the Model Manager name with an extension showing the issue. From the icon in the task tray, we can open the AnyDocs application. Here we can see a list of the files that are being monitored. In addition, by right-clicking on any item, we can view the Model Manager properties of the document. If we have the correct permissions, we can also edit these attributes. Emails can now be dragged and dropped directly from Outlook into Model Manager using a new import drop form. The form is enabled by right-clicking the AnyDocs icon in the task tray. Select Drag and Drop Form and make Always Visible. The position of the drop form can be set under the AnyDocs Options dialog. Now open the email client and drag and drop an email or a selection of emails onto the drop form. A save dialog will open for each email. As with the documents, emails are stored in a new class with their own specific set of attributes. In this case I accept the default names and store to Model Manager. As with documents, there is a new search category for emails. Let's run an open search to view the emails that we've just imported.
Document templates can be set up in Model Manager to ensure consistency in document presentation. As these documents are released, the access controls prevent them from being overwritten. I need to send a fax, so by choosing the customized search for document templates, I can select the fax template and load. Add changes to the document template and then store using the application standard save function. We do not have the option to overwrite the template so we must choose another option. In this case we choose save as as we want to store the fax document under a new name. Again we use the rolling number generator. AnyDocs gives improved control over zip files. We will import a zip file into Model Manager using drag and drop. The zip file is dragged from the Windows directory directly onto the drop form. This is the quickest way to add documents to the database. Multi-selected documents can be dragged directly onto the drop form allowing very quick population of the database with existing documentation held outside Model Manager. The Save dialog window opens allowing us to alter the document properties before committing it to the database. In this case we're going to alter its description. We can use the Model Manager's recent list to quickly find the zip file we have just stored to Model Manager. Here we can see the zip file just imported, YABU 1247. We can now load the file and make some changes. With the file open we can add a document to the zip file again by dragging from the Windows Explorer directory. The zip application works differently to standard Office applications. Any changes to the file are immediately stored back to the file system. In this case AnyDocs recognizes the save and prompts the user to store back to Model Manager. Select Overwrite to update the Model Manager record. If we want to make a number of changes to the zip file over a working session it may be inconvenient to be prompted to store back to Model Manager each time we make a change. AnyDocs allows us to switch off this file monitoring so that we can opt to commit the file back to Model Manager just once when all the changes have been made. To do this we open AnyDocs, select the file from the list of documents, right click for a context menu or select from the toolbar the option to switch off file monitoring. We now add another document to the zip file to see the result of running with file monitoring switched off. This time we are not prompted to store the change back to Model Manager. To force a change to be stored to Model Manager, once we are finished working with the zip file, we again open the AnyDocs user interface and use the Force Save option on the selected file or files. We will now take a look at some of the options available with AnyDocs. From the menu bar select Tools and Options. Note that the Options menu is also available from the right click Context menu from the icon in the task tray. Prompt on Save gives the file has changed dialog that we saw earlier in the viewlet. By default this is switched on. Warn on replacing existing file is shown when opening a document from Model Manager that is already being monitored. By default this option is also switched on. Notification on save causes a notification dialog to appear from the task tray when objects are stored to Model Manager. Notification on load causes the same behaviour when objects are loaded from Model Manager. By default these options are off. Files that are monitored by AnyDocs are held in a temporary directory. The default option is to clear this directory when AnyDocs is closed. The final option here will warn the user before these objects are deleted. Finally, for support issues there is a trace function. If for any reason you have errors occurring in the use of AnyDocs, the trace function can be switched on and the resulting file emailed back to the CSI support team. We will now switch the trace on and import a document into Model Manager to see the resulting additions to the trace file. This time we see that we can also drag documents onto the AnyDocs user interface to import them into Model Manager. Once the trace has been captured, click the link to email the trace file to the support team, adding any supporting notes and contact details as required.
Finally note that AnyDocs has language localization available. Simply select the required language to dynamically update the user interface. This concludes the viewlet on the AnyDocs application.